Meanwhile, people who live around Piney Point in Manatee County are still concerned about the safety of their drinking water. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit is going in depth, taking their concerns to a local scientist for answers. What most worried about is what the future impacts are going to be in terms of long term impacts to health if any of that water seeped in. All of this has really just created a further level of mistrust. Melissa Fitzsimmons lives right on the border of the Piney Point evacuation zone. Her family, like many in the area, rely on drinking wells for their water. I have a 19 month old daughter. She was born here. Um, she's been bathing in this water. I shower in this water. Though Manatee County officials are assuring residents that the drinking water is completely safe to drink, there is concern from nearby residents about how millions of gallons of contaminated water being released will affect the drinking water. So I asked a professor in the Soil and Water Sciences Department at the University of Florida. That water is going through many layers of of treatment and monitoring and it is it, it, should, it shouldn't even be affected by any of this wastewater spill whatsoever so the wastewater is not coming in contact with that water that's part of the municipal supply. She tells me if a major breach were to happen then people who rely on well water should be concerned. Flood waters from a major breach would you know, slowly drain through the soil and could make their way to the aquifer. Though the wastewater is contaminated, it's not toxic, meaning it won't cause humans to die. It's contaminated by excess nitrogen or excess phosphorus. And those, those elements, nitrogen and phosphorus, may be at levels that we call them contamination because maybe they're going to do some sort of environmental harm. However, Fitzsimmons says she has a private company coming out to her home to test her well water and plans to have it tested every three months. I don't want to say that I, I'm a not trusting person, but when this happened and no one really told me that this was even near my house, I feel like now I have to take matters into my own hands and do what I need to do to keep my family safe. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.